Alrighty, so today we're going to be looking at recursive relations or uh, recursion rules for geometric sequences. So we have Tn plus 1 equals R, Tn for T1 equals A. Now this looks a lot like what we had in the arithmetic se sequence. We had Tn plus 1 equals Tn plus D. Well, in this case, we've got an imaginary times, but R times Tn. So the way we read this is we say the current term, oh sorry, the next term, Tn plus 1, is equal to R times the current term. Right? Where this is Tn plus 1, this is R times and then Tn. Alrighty? So this is just the way we read it. And just as a reminder, then we have where the first term is A, which is what this last bit over here says, T1 equals A. Alrighty, so this is our recursive rule for a geometric sequence. So let's see to draw, use one to generate a sequence. Alrighty, let's generate the first few numbers in the sequence. So this rule says the next term is equal to six times the current term. So in essence, since the first term is 10, then the second term is going to be 6 times 10, 60. The third term is going to be 60 times, oh, sorry, 6 times 60, which is 360. And the fourth term, you might need a calculator for this, 6 times 360 is equal to 2160, 2160. And the fifth term is just going to be 6 times 2,160, which is 12,960. So you can see with geometric sequences that they can grow a lot faster than arithmetic sequences. Let's have a look at another one. What if instead we had Tn plus 1 is equal to a half Tn, where T1 is equal to 448? Well, this rule says that the next term is equal to half times the current term. So if the current term is 448 and the next term is going to be a half times 448. Now times saying something that like a half is the same as dividing by 2, so it's 224. T3 is going to be a half again, this times times 224, 112. Term 4 is going to be a half again times 112 equals 56. And T5 is going to be once again a half times 56, which is going to be 28. And you could repeat this on for a little bit of time till you've generated enough terms of the sequence. Alrighty. Let's have a look at one more. Oh, similarly. Sequences in geometric can also shrink really quickly. You can see it only took five terms for us to get to 400 down to 28. So they also can shrink really quickly. Alrighty, last one for today is going to be Tn plus 1 equals negative 2Tn, where T1 equals 6. So this says that the next term is equal to negative 2 times Tn. So T1 equals 6, T2 is equal to negative 2 times 6, which is negative 12, T3 is equal to negative 2 times negative 12, which is positive 24, negative 4 is equal to negative 2 times 24, which is negative 48, and T5 is equal to negative 2 times negative 48, and we get positive 70. 96. And notice you always go from positive to negative to positive to negative to positive. Right? So the signs when you've got a negative R value should always alternate between positive and negative. That's part of the, uh, the pattern that you get with these. What if instead we wanted to do the reverse? What if instead we wanted to write it as a recursive rule? Well, there's a few things we need to work out. We need to work out what T1 is 
and we also need to work out what r is. Well, t1 is easy, it's just 16, it's the first term. r is the more interesting one. Now, you can scratch your head for a bit, but this is actually one you probably wouldn't know. So in order to work it out, you just need to divide subsequent terms. So you can see I've got 56 divided by 16, and that gives me 3.5. And just to double check that I haven't made a mistake, let's divide the next pair of terms, so 196 divided by 56, and that's also equal to 3.5. So the common ratio is 3.5. What to do with that information? Well, using the recursive rule, we get Tn plus 1 equals Rtn. T1 equals A. Tn plus 1 is equal to replace R with 3.5 and replace A with 16, because that's our first term. And that would be a recursive rule given a sequence. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.